Alrighty folks, I'll try not to bore the, the pants off here with my groaning voice behind this, but uh, we decided to test one of these safety parachutes because they've now deemed it uh, compulsory on any UAV that's flying over people or public events, etc, etc. So we're not going to do that, we're not going to fly over people, we're just having fun with these things, but we thought we'd give these parachutes a try anyway. This is a, a $100 unit, which is seriously very expensive for what it is. I mean, it's no more than a big handkerchief and four bits of string and a plastic tube and a little $5 servo, but I suppose, for the meantime, someone done the right thing and made them, and anyway, we bought one to test it. This is on a flight test uh, wooden frame that flight bones or something bones, I think they call it. It's extremely light. It's got a 3S 4000 milliamp uh, battery in it. It's got the standard 980 RPM sunny sky motors. So it probably weighs about one and a half kilos. So I haven't weighed it. We can do that later on uh, to be perfectly accurate. But it's very, very light. The, the parachute diameter is about 500 millimeters. That's half a meter or two foot, something, you know, around about that. And it does slow this thing down. There's no doubt about it. it we tried this probably four or five times. It's relatively simple to repack. Um, there are some instructions. You have to follow them or it won't open. There's no doubt about that. Um, it comes down, I would say, fast for a one and a half kilo machine. If you had a gimbal or or a, a GoPro four and and a Fayou gimbal or something hanging off the bottom of it, I'm not too sure that you would really want this to happen. But then again, the alternative is, is if it comes down, well, that's going to smash everything. And every time this thing landed, it would cut the tie wraps or the plastic ties that held the landing gear on the on the arms, but it never broke the wooden sticks for for the arms. It never done any damage. I mean it only ever took, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds and it was ready to go again. The longest part was refold and shoot. Um, this was a lot harder to do than it looks are. Man, uh, obviously one of the the camera that was doing the follow, the chase flight had uh, FPV but with these tiny little things and we were up about 300 feet so we could get some good hang time um, it was windy although there was no wind on the ground and no visual reference of course the the wooden drone was just line of sight and uh, it was extremely hard to get it close to that to that camera ship but we got it in the end and and I think the video stands for itself. If you were going to be flying with parachutes on bigger machines, uh, you would want a seriously much bigger parachute than what we had here. I mean, anything over a couple of kilos. You can see there, that was a pretty solid head. And if you say before, if you had a gimbal on there, it would knock the gimbal off. Or it, would, it would damage the gimbal. There is no doubt about that. So bringing these things down really really soft and doing zero damage I'd say is a fantasy not gonna happen but if that came down in the crowd it would probably scare the living hell out of someone but I don't think it would hurt them uh, I don't think you'd be looking at blood and, and guts and gore all over the place like you would if it came down fully powered or anything like that so that was it and I think the people who enjoyed this the most were obviously the dogs the little sods but uh, Hope someone enjoys this and learns from it, and if you want to put a parachute on your machine, get a really, really big one.